So I guess if you want to start off by uh, stating who it is that you are and what okay. it is that you do. Okay, so do you know you know my background? Like I was a little bit, yes. For 15 years of press too, right? So. Yeah. Okay. Now? Sure. Yeah. This new legislation that's going to allow brothels to be commonplace in Ontario, where do you stand on the issue? I'm against it. Um, I'm against it because I don't think they realize with legalizing this uh, what it includes. I mean, with the sex, well, like the industry comes a lot of criminal activity, sure. drugs. Um, now they're kind of just giving a gift to these pimps and traffickers and saying, oh, you can hire a bodyguard or protection and you won't be held in charge for it. But this is exactly what's going to happen. It's going to be a free for all. We're here today talking about the recent brothel legislation that passed in Ontario. Going forward, how do you think it's going to affect places such as this? Well, hopefully we'll be able to be involved in the consultation. If there was a lack of the uh, ability of the governments to consult with the industry, I, I think it would ultimately destroy it. Would you say that it's fair that right now there's little distinction between a brothel and a strip club? I worked in strip joints and there was sex in the clubs already. Um, you know, you had to be on the down low with it, but yeah, I mean, even being in the prostitution industry for so long, it, it became, you know, like that cat fight of who's going to offer more or do for less or whatever. So that's the same thing that's going to happen with the strip joints. Sex is prohibited in a strip club. It's clearly defined. You see the signs around us. There has to be a clear separation. If, in fact, we are going to allow, we must allow under the courts, an enhanced activity, there must be a clear separate um, area, different floor, different set of workforce, different set of rules, etc. All we're saying is that you put it under the same roof and it would be the, the least amount of impact on the community. You can live off somebody right now. You can sell somebody, people are commodities. I can buy you like I could buy a burger. What is that telling our children of the next generation? What is that telling society? I mean, people say it's this is the oldest profession, but it's the oldest oppression. 